Funk from, guess where, Detroit, Michigan. White trunks with red and blue stripes. Challenging and the leading contender for title honors, weighing 146 and a half. A well-awaited that has done almost everything asked of him. 26 great knockouts and 28 wins. He is known as a Motor City Cobra. Here is the undefeated hitman, Tommy Hearn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as his opponent, Outstanding king of the world of weights really needs no introduction to the world over this tonight, his 12th title defense in an outstanding career. 24 knockouts in his 27 wins. Ladies and gentlemen, he weighs 146 pounds with dark green velvet trunks out of Mexico City. Yes, the king of the world of weights, Pepino Cuevas. Referee to give instructions. All right, as the referee calls him to the center of the ring, we'll tell you just exactly what the rules are. Of course, this is sanctioned by the WBA, the World Boxing Association. Ten-point must scoring system. Three judges score the fight. No standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. If anything else becomes significant, we'll tell you about it in including uh, head butts and accidental butts and things of that nature. Right now, we're set to go. At stake, the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. That's the 147-pound division. Tommy the Hitman Hearns in the white trunks to the left of your screen, and Pepino Cuevas, the reigning champion, in his 12th title event. Big looping left hook by Cuevas. The champ wants Hearns to feel it right away because he knows he's going to have some problems with this guy. Tommy Hearns is four inches taller. Their weight's exactly the same at 146. Hearns is a year younger, 21 years old. He has almost a six-inch reach of it. Look at him loading up the right hand. The hitman, they call him the Motor City Cobra. They also call him. But Tommy Hearns can bang. So can Cuevas. Don't forget, Cuevas scored 10 KOs in his past 11 title defenses. Does that mean a knockout tonight? <laughs> Most people think so. It could be terrific. Look at these shots. Tommy loads up to the body. He does so many things so well. Remember, this is the 12th title offense for Pepino Cuevas, the pride of Hidalgo, Mexico. Cuevas backed into the corner again. Notice the way he's continually backing off and Tommy's forcing the fight. Notice the fact that Cuevas really having a problem with the reach here. He can't get through. Watch when he's uh, jabbing. He's short with his jab, and Tommy can land everything. Big, big advantage here for Hearns in the white front. Look at these shots. Everything on target, bangs to the body, back upstairs. Pepino has got to try to do something. The crowd is really into this, really into it. Of course, it's in the backyard of Tommy Hearns. Tommy born about four or five blocks down the road here from the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. This is his home crowd. It's like a basketball team playing at home. Tommy Hearns playing in his backyard in the Joe Louis Arena. You know, Tommy's had 22 of 28 bouts right here in the state of Michigan. But I'll tell you, if he can win a world title tonight, he will be on the road for good all over the world. Thomas Hearns and White, Pepino Cuevas and Green taking some punishment. Look at these shots, about seven unanswered punches. Referee Cristadulo looks in to make sure that he's still all right, and he is. Nobody's been down, nobody's been hurt. Under a minute to go now in the first round. It's been a good first round for Thomas Hearns trying to lift this title. This is the 12th title offense for Pepino Cuevas. He's a great one. And a terrific champion, but how long can he take shots like that from Tommy Hearn? Pepino Cuevas hasn't landed anything flush. Tommy's landed everything flush. Look at these shots. You go to the body, you come back upstairs. Now Tommy just measures him with that jab. Pepino, watch his jab. It's short all the time. When Thomas moves in, look at him. He plants his feet, works downstairs, looking to throw the big right hand. Just looking, looking, trying to take the vision away. Throwing that jab with more authority, backs off the jab, light jab. He's looking to load up the right hand. Closing seconds now. This is the first round. Tommy looking to load one last shot up here. Boom! There it is. There, but it's oh wow! He caught him again. There's the bell, ending round number one. A good round for Thomas the Hitman Hearns. How about this crowd? 
in there, working with the, the hitman, Thomas Hearns. He's the key guy. He's the guy that instructs Tommy. And Tommy listens. The Motor City Cobra, he looks like he could be a great one. But this is a big, big step up in class tonight for Thomas. And it's just exactly the right opponent for him. Pino Cuevas, who was a terrific champion in his own right, won the WBA World Welterweight title in July of 76 on a second round TKO over Angel Espada. And did you know something? Last month, as we show you this replay, it was Espada who was the victim of uh, Thomas Hearns when he won the USBA title. Look at these shots being landed by Tommy Hearns. Look at the speed with which they land. Wow, here we go. The bell starts round number two. Tommy Hearns looking for the knockout early in this fight. And I'll tell you one thing, the way he lined him up in the first round, Pepino had bet to start planting his feet and holding this guy off with a jab, but he's going to get in a heap of trouble. Tommy Hearns in white, the champion in the dark green trunks. And he's such a big star down in Mexico City. And as a matter of fact, when Hidalgo makes it go, Pepino Cuevas knows he's got problems with Thomas tonight because he can't do anything. And a lot of it has to do with height, a lot to do with reach. Both guys possess tremendous punching power, but Cuevas has never faced a guy 6'2 in this 147 pound division. Tommy Hearns looking for a shot to end this thing soon. Uh, he'd like to do it in front of his crowd, but whether he can or not depends on uh, Cuevas, the man in front of him. Cuevas again. Oh, the right hand catches him up on top of the head. Plants a big left in the face of Cuevas. Big question is how many of these, you know, full shots like that? Not only the right hand, but look at these left. Racking the head around of uh, the champion Cuevas. Cuevas getting nothing through. Tommy, it's like a sparring session for him, and he's against the guy who's defending his title for the 12th time. Can you believe it? Oh, right hand lead, sneaky right hand. Bangs the ear again of Cuevas. Cuevas has got a lot of problems with Tommy. Oh, right hand gets through. Big right hand again. Look at this shot. He's ready to go. He's got him in big trouble. Chris Dudo having a good look. Tommy not very patient here. He's throwing wild shots with a lot landing. Cuevas trying to answer all of his, a short. Thomas ducks underneath shots. Look at how he continues to make Cuevas miss even while he's throwing heavy blows. Wow, this Hearns is terrific. He's a better boxer than uh, most people give him credit. He's such a good puncher that that's all they talk about, knocking out 26 of his 28 opponents. This time he's in against a guy defending his title for the 12th time, and he looks to be walking right through him. Left hand followed by the right hand right on the jaw. Left bounces off about a minute to go in the second round. How much longer can Cuevas continue to take these kind of head shots and stand up against this guy? He's got to land something of his own, but Tommy's just going to walk right through and have a field day. Look at Tommy just measuring him with that left hand. Look at him looking to drop that big right now. You see Cuevas getting in trouble here. This is not the knockdown, but this is what leads to it. Nice left hand, then a real good right hand that backs him up. Notice the way the knees buckle. Notice the way he's bagging up. He's able to block that one, but Tommy will nail him with his left hand. That's a good shot. And then the right hand right on the cheek, and he collapses into the ropes. Chris Dudo having a real good look here. And next you'll see the sequence with the knockout. And watch Tommy just kind of measures him with a left hand, and he wants to load up the right hand. And bang, there it is, right there, right on the cheek, right on the money. And then he catches him again, boom, again. And then finally down he goes. 
and it's a hard knockdown. Notice the way his head crushed into the canvas, and he gets back up. He's able to get up at the eight count. As you see, Stanley Christodoulo counting him out. He's not moving at all. Notice no movement in the legs at all, and now finally, at about five, he begins to move a little bit, and then he does get up, but that's all she wrote. He just couldn't continue.